The heavyweight collision between the Demolition Man and heavyweight national wrestling champion, Brock Lesnar. Brock Lesnar set to enter the world-famous octagon once again. Brock Lesnar is a genetic freak, Mike. He is as strong as anyone who's ever stepped in the octagon, and he moves like a man half his size. Crazy explosiveness in his takedowns and his strikes, and he's a former NCAA national champion wrestler. Brock Lesnar, fired up and ready to go. The Demolition Man, making his way to the world-famous Octagon. This is one of those fighters who really feeds off the crowd, Mike. He's got a ton of heart, and no matter how the fight is going, he's going to keep bringing it until the end. He's got that intestinal fortitude that you look for in a fighter, but that just cannot be taught. The Demolition Man, ready to throw down and put on a show. Our Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Dodge. And now with the official introductions, the veteran voice of the Octagon, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler. He stands six feet three inches tall. Weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Minneapolis, St. Paul, Minnesota. He is the former UFC heavyweight champion, Brock Lesnar. And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a wrestler and a kickboxer. He stands six feet two inches tall. Weighing in at 245 pounds, fighting out of Tampa, Florida, the Demolition Man. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Kevin Mohall. Kevin Mohall, our referee. I'm Mike Goldberg with Joe Rogan, and we're ready to get okay, things fighters, started. Are you ready? Brock Lesnar, you ready? the Demolition Man. And here we go. Let's Joe fight. Brock Lesnar, when it really comes down to it, is another heavyweight in a long line of champions who were national champions on the mat and then world champions inside the octagon. Yeah, the amateur wrestling background is probably the best background to enter into mixed martial arts. The best skill set to start a career in mixed martial arts from. Great job on the reversal. Side control. Half guard. Oh, he's mounted him. Oh, reversal. He's past nice. the half guard. Oh, mount. Postured up. Control his hands. Control his hands. Punch his face. He has fight for underhooks. Nice right hand. Under three minutes now. Top position is doing a great job of holding that mount. Well over two minutes remains in round number one. You go now, you go. Oh, he got reversed. Control his hands. Side control. When he landed and back to full guard missed that one oh big hook boom he rocked him with that hook mike oh he hits him a right he's out the uppercut and the victory he didn't even see it coming how good was that Lesnar, victorious tonight. Here's the end. 
Look at this power he generates into that uppercut. And immediately the lights go off. And here we see it again. Just an incredible amount of torque he puts into that. Look at this. Twist the head around. His eyes roll back into his head. The lights go out. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer, has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Kevin Mohall has called a stop to this contest at 3 minutes, 39 seconds of the very first round. Declaring the winner by knockout, Rock Brock Lesnar is victorious. Coming up next, it's an interim heavyweight title fight between Dan Severn and Don Fry. Making his way to the octagon, and he has this crowd fired up. Don Fry had a UFC debut that was right up there with Hoist Gracie's. He annihilated three people in the first round to win UFC 8, and has gone on to have a huge MMA career. He's a tremendous wrestler, and no one has more heart than this man. Don Fry, ready to throw down and put on a big show for this capacity crowd. making his way to the octagon the ufc hall of fame veteran dan severn is a monster he came into this sport at ufc 4 knowing almost nothing about submissions or striking and he was beating guys with just raw strength and pure wrestling ability this man is a legend dan severn fired up and ready to show why he is among the best ever Our Tale of the Tape is brought to you by the only motorcycles worthy of being in the octagon, Harley Davidson. And now with the official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. And now, five rounds for the UFC Heavyweight Championship of the World. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a boxer and a wrestler. He stands six feet, one inch tall, weighing in at 225 pounds, fighting out of Tucson, Arizona, Don the Predator Five. And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a submission wrestler. He stands six feet, two inches tall, weighing in at 250 pounds, fighting out of Coldwater, Michigan. Presenting the legendary UFC Hall of Fame Octagon Warrior, Dan the Beast Seven. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Dan Mergliata. All right, guys, this is for the UFC Championship. I want a nice clean fight. I want you to obey my commands at all times. Protect yourself at all times. Touch gloves. Come on out for you. Back to your Hi again, everybody. Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan. And we are ready for round one. Are you ready? Are you ready? Don Fry. Dan Severn. And here we Let's go. go. Guys, fight. Trying to find the range. Nice right hand. Oh, but he oh, ain't a left hand. Left. He shoots. Good sprawl. Full guard. Side control. Half guard. And back to full guard. Side control again. He ain't that one. And Man. again. He loves throwing that punch. Severn is cut. 
He's in the guard now. Back to side control. He's in full guard here. He's in side control here. Man, those are knockout punches, Joe. Vicious punches from the top, Mike. Severn got hit on that same spot. That cut has really opened up now, Mike. Got the over-under here. Back to their feet. Oh, nice counter left hook right there. Double under hooks. Oh, wow, the power of the takedown there. Full mount. Oh, this is bad. Two minutes remains in round number one. Vicious punches from the top here, Mike. He's got his back. He's able to slide out the back door, and now he's out of trouble. Again, the takedown is stuffed. Over under control. And now they're back to their feet. He is getting battered. Swing and a miss. Forty-five seconds remains in the first round. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're changing here. Thirty seconds remains. Oh, big right hand. He's down. Somehow he's able to get up. And he answers. Oh, nice combination. A left hook and then an uppercut. And now he's answered. Uh, round stop. one is complete. Man, they really mixed it up in that round, Joe. Yeah, both these guys are very well-rounded, and they had a chance to show it in there. He's got nothing for you. Straight punches with him. Let's start hitting those. Listen to me. Don't crowd him. Relax. Don't go for the big hook. Use the right hand. Hook right. You want the fight? You're going to go win, win this round? round? You got the fight. This you win this round, you got the fight. Okay. Go on, Barry. Keep his ass. Let's take a look at the replay of some of the action here, Mike. This was that counter. Such unbelievable timing on that. And here we see some real power on display. Fantastic suplex. And here was that nasty counter strike, just so perfectly timed. A lot of versatility being shown in that round, Mike. Don't, don't let your back sit, sit on, the, on the cage, okay? Chandela gets us set for round two. Are you ready? Are you ready? We start round two. Let's go, guys. This fight. fight scheduled for five. Five-minute rounds. Oh, we got tagged to the hook. Body shot. Fast hands. Good battle inside. One, six, two, five. Oh, wow. looping hook there. Huge left and right. Those are snapping his head back, Mike. Keep angling, keep angling. Stopped. There you go, beautiful. Going for over under here. Joe, let's see what he chooses to do here. Great job on the reversal. Take that leg up. Moves into full mount here. Three minutes remains in the second round. Oh, he got reversed. He's got over under here from the back. He's in the guard. He moves in the half guard. He's in the full mount, Joe. Oh, he got reversed. Good sprawl. Great reversal. That's it. That's Got the over under here. There it is. Oh, he's got the mount. This is not good. Are you ready to Bounce his he's looking for an arm triangle. He's pressing down with his weight. It doesn't look like he's got it. It looks a little loose here. He got out! And he escapes. In the guard. Yep. Make him more time than you. Even move, 
right now. Breathe and move. 30 seconds. Oh, nice go dirty boxing. Nice sprawl. Good takedown defense. Big right hand. Oh, beautiful left hook. He's rocked. Beautiful hook. Uh, Two rounds in the books. Three rounds to go in this UFC title fight. Big shot at the end of the round, Joe. That looked very close to being declared a knockout. Yeah, that was a beautiful shot. I think a few more seconds and it would have been over. Bring up that combat. You need to get yourself If you don't get the takedown, you're going back to the strikes. You're looking for... Give me the deep breath, man. You're looking good. It's a nice round. Let's take a look at the replay, Mike. This was that counter. Such unbelievable timing on that. Now a look at that near submission that was let go. Didn't quite have it locked in. And this was that nasty shot that connected. Good action in that round, Mike. Got to keep those uh, hands up inside. The leg kicks are there. All right, the leg kicks are there. Ready to start round three. There's the beautiful Brittany. Are you ready? Are you ready? And we are set go, for guys. the start fight. of round three. This is a championship fight, so it is scheduled for five five-minute rounds. Getting in tight, using the clinch. Got him clinched up against the fence. What a great display of hand fighting. And fans at home, you've got to realize that these men are really working to get to a dot. Oh! Belly to belly again! Into the guard. Pushing his opponent away. He decides to let him up. And now Fry is cut as well. Both guys staying in tight. Under three minutes now. Stick to the game player. Come on, baby, one, two. Oh, nice left and a right. Basis, basis, two step on the outside. He has no answer. What an exchange here. Wow, Joe, really look, mixing it up. I love how he's changing levels here, Joe. They are exchanging here, Mike. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. Step the outside. Keep control. Fry's get. Oh, he got hurt. He's. Oh, that's big, Joe. He dove right into that. This fight's just about over, Joe. If he gets careless, he can get knocked out. <laughs> Under a minute remains. Nice combination. Just out of harm's way, and then boom, the counter. Thirty seconds remains in the round. And he answers. Nice counter. Countering and scoring big time. Beautiful throw. Great Greco-Roman right there, Joe. And that signifies the end of round three of this UFC title fight. A superb display of mixed martial arts skills from both fighters. Yeah, these are two very well-rounded guys, Mike. It'll be interesting to see what adjustments they make before going into the next round. Hey, that's close. You don't sit there and judge it, all right? You go out there and just keep fighting hard. This is your time. All right, let's go to the replay, Mike. This was an unbelievable suplex. Beautiful technique. And some incredible power on that shot here. Just connected perfectly. Very interesting round, Mike. Be there. Finish this fight. Get it over with. He is not as good as you. Ariani, 
gets us set for round four. Are you ready? Are you ready? Ready for the start of Let's round go, four. Fight. This fight schedule for five five-minute rounds. Get that double going. Get that double going. Let's go. Got double underhooks. He's got him pressed up against the cage here, working for control. Both fighters continuing to try to get to a more dominant position. Oh! He's looking to take him down. He gets mounted. Oh, the double underhook didn't work that time. Oh, he gets reversed. Reversal. Very nice. Into his guard. Work that wrist control. Back to their feet. Nice double leg. Nice, nice. And he gets reversed. Transitions to the full mount. He's got half guard. Oh, reversal. Side control. Half guard. He's in full mount. Stay tight in there. Crush up. Watch his face. Watch where he's Under two there. minutes remains. Control his posture. Look your position, bro. Just over a minute remains. Under a minute remains. He's got the hooks in. He's going to try to flatten out his opponent. The clinch game once again. Oh! And again he goes for a ride. Oh, big right hand! And that's the end of round number four. The fifth and final round is coming up next. Talk about good timing. Can you say saved by the bell? Wow, a vicious shot just seconds before the final round. I thought it was over, Mike. Stay aggressive. Get that leg kick going. Get that leg kick. You got punish in this three. All right. Go to the body and press him back. Breathe. Come on, breathe. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round, Mike. This was an unbelievable suplex. Beautiful technique. Don't vary from the game plan. Are you paying attention to me? Don't vary from the game plan. Shandella gets us ready for the fifth and final round. Are you ready? Are you ready? This is the Let's fifth go, guys. Fight. and Fight. final Fight. round. Just missed with that one. Both men scoring points here. We're seeing a lot of power shots getting countered by quicker strikes here, Mike. You can throw bombs all day, but if you're getting tagged by a faster fighter coming in, it'll throw you off over and over. Nice right hand! Oh, uppercut, he's down! Boom! This is the The referee has stopped the fight! Wow, what a display! We have a new UFC heavyweight champion. And that's the beginning of the end. Gets on top of him and swarms on him. Look at it from this angle. Here's 
Bruce Buffer with the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 1 minute, 34 seconds of the fifth round. Declaring the winner by TKO, and now, the new UFC Heavyweight Champion of the World, Don the Predator Fry. Don Fry is the new UFC Heavyweight Champion. set to enter the world famous octagon once again he's a fighter known for his heart mike there is absolutely no quit in this man we've seen him take crazy amounts of damage and still keep coming this is a guy who will not stop until the final bell a great competitor big puppy fired up and ready to go Mir, making his way to the world-famous octagon. Mir is extremely dangerous on the ground. He's a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu black belt, and for a man his size, he's very quick with his submissions. He's also a decent striker and has been at the top of this heavyweight division for most of his career. Frank Mir, ready to throw down and put on a show. Our Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Tap Out, an expression of combat known worldwide, now available at tapout.com. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC Heavyweight Division. Introducing first, fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler. He stands six feet two inches tall, weighing in at 245 pounds, fighting out of Norfolk, Virginia, Big Puppy! And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter. He stands six feet three inches tall, weighing in at 255 pounds. Fighting out of Las Vegas, Nevada. He is the former UFC heavyweight champion, Frank Beer. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, our referee. I'm Mike Goldberg alongside Joe Rogan. We are set to get are things ready? started. Are you ready? Big Poppy. Frank Mir. Round one Let's is go, underway. Fight. Oh, good combination. Oh, good counter. Got the double underhooks. Beautiful throw. Great Greco Roman right there, Joe. Inside the guard. Back to side control. Nice oh, knee big to, the shot body. to the body. Wow, that right hand. Half guard. Oh, we got reversed. Man, those are knockout punches, Joe. Vicious punches from the top, Mike. And the chance begin for Frank Mir. Nice right hand. Very nice. And right into side control. Great job on the reversal. Good sprawl. Hey, 
He takes him down again. Side control. Oh, body shot. Half guard. Two minutes. Oh, he gets reversed. Moves in the half guard. Full mount here. Now able to posture up. Watch where you grab your leg. Oh, good hip escape from the bottom. Moved into half guard. And back to full guard. Passes to half guard. Oh, reversal. Just over a minute remains. He's got, he's got the, the back. back. He's got both hooks in. Oh, he's got an arm bar. That is a tight, tight arm bar. Very nice. Wow, great arm bar. Frank Mir with the victory. Joe, once he went for that arm, he was not going to let go until the submission came. Yeah, beautiful technique. Here you see he's got the arm isolated. He pushes with his leg, straightens that arm out, and his opponent is forced to tap. And with our official decision, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Dan Mergliata has called a stop to this contest at 4 minutes, 29 seconds of the very first round. Declared the winner by tap out due to an armbar, Frank Mir! Frank Mir wins again. Are you ready? Let's go guys, fight! Stop. Time, guys. 
gets that back, you fight that two on one. If he gets that body lock, you gotta fight it off. You swim that arm over, okay? Swim that arm over. Hey, look it. Just score. All you need to do is score. You score with that takedown, you score. Good. Okay, he's tired. His legs are tired from trying to hold that big pull. Okay, push the pace. Push the pace on him. Hey, five minutes of hell, tighten your punches up. The uppercut is there all day, but you got Are you ready? Are you ready? Let's go, guys, fight. Put that together! Again! Perfect. Use that reach! Keep pressuring him once you get him moving back. Put it all out there! Keep it down. There we go. Put your hand back to your feet. One quick thing, when you go jail blow, come back with the jail. Don't come back with Are the you ready? Blow. Are you ready? Let's go, guys. Fight. Last round. Three on side hard. I'm now. Way to work. work. Come on, baby. One, two. Patience, patience. Keep stepping the outside. Go that left way down the middle. Don't slow while he's backing up. Get that double going. Get that Beautiful. double going. Don't let those hands go. That's it. Little face, little face. Step the outside, keep control. He's getting too comfortable. Nice body kick. Don't stay in his range. 
Nine two. I want two nine. Don't stand there. One six. Back up and then run and throw it. Ah ah ah. Let those kicks go. Be smart here. No, 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 come on, what meaning? <laughs> Leg kicks. Perfect work. Heads up, chin down. Double the jab. Hands at my heart. First the hands, there you go. Watch and then move. Show him the jab, show it. Get out of that. Keep moving. Short go. Over to overhead. He misses, make him pay. Push forward, push forward, don't retreat. Nice, nice. He won't come forward, stand in the middle. Jab in, short, short. Come on, head movement, let your hands go. I want to hook up top. Get to the liver. One, one, two, coming one. up on one minute, baby. Double jab, straight hook, let's go. Keep going. One minute. That's it, baby. Control the hips. Swim and drop the elbow! There it is! Pressure! Head movement! Use the elbow! Yes! Yep! You gotta get this right on the back! Control his posture! 20 seconds, it's over! There you go, nice! Do not let him turn into you! Look for position, bro! Relax here, you're fine, relax here! Alright, stop, stop, stop! Fight's over, fight's over, guys! The winner. Are you ready? Come on, let's do it. Yep. 
Working everything you're doing is working. He's loading up. He's trying to. You good. Okay. He's tired. His legs are tired from trying to hold that figure four. Okay. Push the pace. Push the pace on it. Back, you fight that two on one. If he gets that body lock, you gotta fight it off. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? Come on, let's do it. Don't stay in his range. Come on, baby, one two. Take him cover, see what he's gonna do. Stand in the middle, let him come and fight. Take the leg now. Head movement, head up, chin down. Let's get closer, Ray. Push forward, push forward, don't retreat. Wait, there it is. Relax here, you're fine, relax here. Push him off, boy, move your hips out. Push off the hips. Get your feet on his hips. Beautiful. There we go. Oh, good work, son. You gotta fall with that right, right away. A couple jabs if he's backing up. Throw that right. Hands up, hands up. Nice body kick. The winner. Coming up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Bob Sapp and former Pride champion, the Brazilian, Antonio Minotauro Nogueira. Tale of the Tape is brought to you by UFC Store. The sport lives here. Once again, with our official introductions for this battle, the veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a Brazilian jiu-jitsu fighter. He stands six feet three inches tall. Weighing in at 240 pounds, fighting out of Rio de Janeiro, Brazil. This man is a former heavyweight champion of pride, Antonio Rodrigo Minotauro Nogueira. And now, fighting out of the red corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. He stands six feet five inches tall, weighing in at 265 pounds, fighting out of Seattle, Washington. Bob the Beast Sam. And when the action begins, 
Our referee in charge of this contest is Dan Mergliata. Dan Mergliata, our referee. Mike Goldberg alongside my partner Joe Rogan. Round one is ready? about to begin. Minotaro Noguera, Bob Sapp. And we Let's are go, underway. Get nice punches. Noguera is cut open here, Mike. And he's down. He would not be denied there. He's looking to isolate an arm here, looking for the Kimura. Trying to remain calm, see if he can break out of this. Oh, he's out of it. Nicely done. Transitions to the full mount. Oh, nice left. And oh, he got reversed. He's in side control here. And a half guard. Oh, he got reversed. Pushing his opponent away. Under three minutes now. Oh, oh, nice hook and an uppercut afterwards. Well over two minutes remains in round number one. Just out of harm's way and then boom, the counter. He's got that single. Good sprawl. He's got the hooks in. He's oh, he's going for an arm bar. Trying to pry those hands loose. His opponent's using real good defense. Oh, oh, he rolled out of it. Very nice escape. Big right hand. He ate that one. Fighter on the bottom is, is trying to escape, but he's unable to. He's got half guard. Just about one minute remains in the first round. Half guard. He's got double butterflies here, Mike. Pushes him off of the feet, and he lets him back up. Final 30 seconds. Non-title fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. He's got the clinch. Again, the takedown is stuffed. Our first round is in the books. I'm not sure what the game plan was in that round. It seems that they were still in the feeling out process. A good mix of stand-up and ground game, but nothing for the highlight reel. Heavy hands for me, all right? Heavy hands for me. I want fours and fives with the punches now, all right? We, we can't hold back now. Cannot hold back. Three, give me a couple of deep breaths. More important, you go out. Let's go to the replay of that round, Mike. Some beautiful counter fighting on display. Here we see a slip straight into a vicious counter strike. Now a look at that near submission that was let go. Didn't quite have it locked in. And here we see another solid counter after slipping the incoming shot. You gotta fight your fight. You gotta take him down. You gotta impose your will because you're a big. The beautiful Ariani. Are you ready? Are you ready? Set for round two. Let's go, this guys. fight's scheduled for three five minute rounds. He's getting too comfortable. Little face, little face. Uppercut. Got the double underhooks. He backed right out of it, though. There you go, nice. Side control. Nicely done. Oh. Hands up. Mount. Vicious ground and pound. Beautiful. Oh, reversal. And he gets reversed. Through half guard, through half guard. Oh, he gets reversed. Half guard. Moves into full mount here. Oh, he got reversed. 
good sprawl. Great reversal. Great job on the reversal. Oh, he got reversed. Come down with a good one. He's got side control. And a half guard. Pick that leg up. Keep the half Postures up. Oh, nice, reversal. Nice. You go now, you go. Good Very sprawl. Nice. Full Shoot mount. Oh, this is bad. 90 seconds remains in the second. Oh, he gets reversed. Pushing his opponent away. Beautiful. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. Good takedown defense. He shoots. Nice sprawl. Good takedown defense. He's got half. He's looking for Kimura. Great submission defense. Wow, that's the end of round number two. Our fighters will move to the third and final round. For a moment, it looked like this wasn't going to make it into the third. Yeah, that submission was locked in pretty tight. This is going to be a very interesting final round. All right, go. All right, ready to go. Start the finish. Hey, you're never against the cage. You turn him. I want your knee and dig into the body. You got to keep those uh, hands up inside. The leg kicks are there. All right, the leg kicks are there. And three twos. All right, three twos. All right, let's go to the replay, Mike. This was that counter. Such unbelievable timing on that. And this was a perfectly timed counter, right on target. And here's that submission attempt that wasn't quite able to be finished. A lot of versatility being shown in that round, Mike. Right? You feel open that guard. Bring out that combat knee, get yourself. The beautiful Shandella gets us set for round three. Are you ready? Are you ready? Third and final go, round. Fight. We got five minutes. Nice counter right. He's down. He's back to his feet, but he's hurt. Make him reach and make him pay. Both guys staying in tight. Oh, but he oh, ate a left hand. The left. Push kick. He's got the single. Stuffed. And he's got he's side, side control. control. Nice right hand. And here he pushes off the cage and gets the reversal. Very nice. He's in full guard. Pushes him off with the feet. Oh, body Good. shots to the body. Wow, he's really working the body here, Mike. The clinch. Under three minutes now. Oh, he pulls guard into his guard. Trying to scoot his opponent up towards the fence. Oh, he's looking for Noma Plata. I don't think it's tight. He got out. And he escapes. Half guard. And back to full guard. Side control. Oh! Oh, this and one another. is getting ugly! He's looking for Kimura. He's got it in position. This is very tight. He's cranking on it. He might get the win here. This looks like he's gonna get it, Mike. It doesn't look like he's got it. It looks a little loose here. Oh, he escapes. Very nice. Good defense. Nice right hand. He's isolating an arm. He's got a Kimura. Trying to remain patient. Oh, he's out of it. Nicely done. Final. Oh, that's a big shot. Oh, he's hurt, Mike. He's hurt bad. He looked hurt, but he recovered quick. Oh, he got reversed. Goes right into side control. That is the end of the third and final round.
Joe, you know what? Decent fight. Not going to go into the UFC Hall of Fame of fights, but not bad. It definitely wasn't embarrassing. Let's take a look at the replay from that round, Mike. This was a beautiful counter. Unbelievable timing here. And here's that devastating counter strike. That is world-class striking right there. And here's that submission attempt that wasn't quite able to be finished. The judges have rendered their decision. And here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score it 29, 28, 29, 28, and 29, 28, declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Bob the Beast Sap. Bob Sap the victor. Next, it's a heavyweight collision between Mark Hunt and Tevin, the Monster Randall Man. Our Tale of the Tape is brought to you by Boost Mobile. We are now set for the official introductions, and with that, here is Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a wrestler. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall. Weighing in at 205 pounds. Fighting out of Columbus, Ohio. He is the former UFC heavyweight champion, Devin the Monster Randleman. And now... Fighting out of the red corner. This man is a striker. He stands 5 feet 10 inches tall. Weighing in at 265 pounds. Fighting out of Coconut Creek, Florida. Mark Super Samoan Hines. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Herb Dean. Herb Dean is our referee. Mike Goldberg with Joe Rogan, and we are ready to start round one. Are you ready to fight? Tevin are you Randleman, ready? Mark Hunt. And here we go. Come on, let's do it. Trying to find the range. Oh, looping hook there. Oh, nice left and a right. Oh, beautiful hook. Looking for the takedown. Nice job, double leg. Okay, he moves into the mount here. You go now, you go. Control that posture. You gotta fight for the underhook. Boom! Hunt is cut. He's got the back. He's got both hooks in. Trying to flatten out his opponent. Oh, he got reversed. Oh! Side control. Big right hand. Into half guard. Under three. Moves into full mount here. It looks like Randleman is bleeding. Oh! Work that wrist control. He gets reversed. Huge left and right. Those are snapping his head back, Mike. He ate that one. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. He drags him to the ground. Nicely done. Transitions to the full mount. Postured up. 
One minute. Watch where we grab your leg. That cut on Hunt has really opened up now. Stay tight in there. Get busy here. Oh, good hip escape from the bottom. Moved into half guard. The real key here is to use the cage to help get yourself back to your feet. Into his guard. Pushing his opponent away. No, Missed no, that no. one. And that's the end of round one. The referee separates them after a rather uneventful round of ground fighting. Yeah, they neutralize each other on the mat, Mike. No one seemed willing to take any risks. Okay, push the pace. Push the pace on him. Now, on the ground, you can catch him all day long in that triangle and that arm bar. You can catch him all day long. Gets that back, you fight that two on one. If he gets that body lock, you gotta fight it off. You swim that arm over. Let's take a look at the replay of some of the action here, Mike. This was just an unbelievable counter right here. This is flawless timing. And this was that hard-fought takedown to get the fight to the mat. And here we see that exchange that ended in a solid takedown. Good? Okay, he's tired. His legs are tired from trying to hold that finger. There's the beautiful Ariani as we get set for round two. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? Round two. Come Both on, fighters in the traditional stance. Oh, oh, nice hook and an uppercut afterwards. He's got double underhooks. Got to take down again. Pushes him off with the feet, and he lets him back up. Good counter, though, Joe. He's got the double. Try to get a takedown if you can. Bam. And he's down. Ready to move. Ready to move. Keep moving. He's got over-under here from the back. He's taking his back. If he can flatten out his opponent, Joe, he can put in a choke here with both hooks in. Oh, he got reversed. Boom. Back to their feet. Good sprawl. Oh! Inside the guard. And he's got side control. And into full mount. Control his posture. You gotta fight for that underhook. Punch his face. Hold his head down. Good job, hip escaping there. Moves to half guard. Look at the battle for control here. Relentless takedowns here. Side control. Great job on the reversal. Going for over under here. Oh! And back to full guard. Pushing his opponent away. Oh, answered by a big body shot. Nice counter right hand. Oh, to the midsection. Wow, that right hand. Oh, big right hand. He's down. He ate that one. Boom. He looked hurt. He recovered quick. Side control. Nice right hand. Oh, that right hand hurt him. Oh, but he recovers. Nice right hand. Oh, he's tagged again. Oh, he recovers. This crowd is going nuts. Oh, and again. He loves throwing that punch. That's the end of round number two. Our fighters will move to the third and final round. When a fighter gets dominated like that, what does he need to do to come back? When you're behind the scorecards, you have to change up the game plan. Take some risks. This is where good advice from your corner can make all the difference. There is still five minutes left in this fight, and anything can happen. You swim that arm over. Let's take a look at the replay from that round, Mike. Here we see that huge punch connect, knock out power in those hands. And here's that amazing shot. That is knock out power right there.
solid wrestling skills on display in that round, Mike. Okay, he's tired. His legs are tired from trying to hold that big four. The beautiful Shandella gets us set for round three. Are you ready to fight? Are you ready? We are set for the on, third and final round. He takes him down again. Side control now. Body shot. Big right hand. And really raining down some haymakers. He's got half guard. Oh, reversal. Got the over under here. He's in guard here. Oh! Now into side control. Half guard. Full guard. Back to side control. Oh. And another! Oh, he rocked him bad here, Mike. Oh, but he recovers. Half guard. Full guard here. Side control again. Into half guard. Joe, let's see what he chooses to do here. Pushes him off with the feet. Oh, he lets him up. Under three minutes now. Oh, he hit him with a oh, beautiful hook. Oh, he buried him there, Joe. Oh, oh, God. God. That's it. This fight is over. Mark Hunt wins in impressive fashion. Look at it again. Oh, man, what a hook threw his whole body into it, and it's immediately lights out. Beautiful knockout punch. And here we see it again. Just an incredible amount of torque he puts into that. Great angle here. He has no idea what just happened in this fight. Look how confused he is. The veteran voice of the Octagon, Bruce Buffer, has the official decision. Ladies and gentlemen, referee Herb Dean has called a stop to this contest at two minutes, four seconds of the third round, declaring the winner by knockout, Mark Super Samoan Hunt. Mark Hunt earns the victory. Up next, it's a heavyweight collision between Brendan Schaub and France's most fearsome striker, Chet Congo. Chet Congo, set to enter the world-famous octagon once again. Chet Congo started training in martial arts when he was five, Mike. This is a man who loves the sport and comes in with a wealth of experience and some truly nasty power in his punches and kicks. Chet Congo, ready to throw down and put on a show. Making his way to the world-famous Octagon. Brandon Schaub has excellent power, very technical boxing skills, and solid cardio. He comes from a very athletic background, former Golden Gloves champion, college football player, and he holds a Brazilian Jiu-Jitsu purple belt under Amal Easton. Brandon Schaub, fired up and ready to go. Our Tale of the Tape is brought to you by UFC Store. The sport lives here. And now with the official introductions of our fighters, Bruce Buffer. Ladies and gentlemen, this fight is three rounds in the UFC heavyweight division. Introducing first. Fighting out of the blue corner. This man is a freestyle fighter. He stands six feet four inches tall. Weighing in at 230 pounds, 16.4 stone, fighting out of Paris, France, Jack Congo! And now, fighting out of the red corner, this man is a freestyle fighter. He stands 6 feet 4 inches tall, weighing in at 240 pounds, 
17.1 stone, fighting out of Denver, Colorado, Brendan the Hybrid Shaw. And when the action begins, our referee in charge of this contest is Mario Yamasaki. Mario Yamasaki, our referee. Mike Goldberg alongside my partner Joe Rogan. Round ready, one guys? is about to begin. Chip Congo, Brendan Schaub, and we Let's are go, underway. Oh, nice counter left hook right there. Both guys staying in tight. Nice job, double leg. Postures up. Full guard. Oh, he got reversed. Side control now. Into half guard. And back to full guard. Side control again. Full mount here. Wow, that right hand. Oh, good hip escape from the bottom. Moved into half guard. Trying to utilize the cage to get back to his feet. Got the over under here. And now they're back to their feet. Got him clinched up against the fence. Under two minutes remains. Oh, big kick. They clinch again. Got him pressed up against the cage here. Working for control. He's got the clinch. Just over a minute remains. Oh, and again he goes for a ride. Boom. Just about one minute remains in the first round. Good job hip escaping there. Moves to half guard. 45 seconds remains in the first round. Going for over under here. In the guard. He decides to let him up. Round one is complete. The referee separates them after a rather uneventful round of ground fighting. Yeah, they neutralize each other on the mat, Mike. No one seemed willing to take any risks. Swim that arm up. Now, on the ground, you can catch him all day long in that triangle and that arm up. You can catch him all day long, okay? He's good? Okay, he's tired. His legs are tired from trying to hold that big pull. Okay, push the pace. Push the pace on him. Let's take a look at the replay from that round, Mike. We saw some beautiful counter striking. Really nice timing on that. And this was that nice counter. Just perfect movement here. And here's another incoming attack that got stuffed by a counter strike. Right? You feel most of that guard. Bring out that combat need. Get yourself. Ariani gets us set for round two. Are you ready? Are you ready? We are set for the start of round number two. This fight scheduled for three five-minute rounds. Big right hand. Now looking for the takedown. He wants the double. Again, the takedown is stuffed. Over under control. Nice right hand. He's in full guard. Side control. Oh, and really raining down some haymakers. He's got half guard. Transitions to the full mount. Schaub has really opened up, Mike. That is a big cut. Oh, 
he gets reversed. He passes to half. Oh, but he ate a left hand. Left. Relentless takedowns here. He's in the full guard. Oh, he lets him up. And now he's answered. Two minutes remains in the second. Oh, nice left and a right. Oh, oh. nice hook and an uppercut. Oh, big right hand. He's down. Somehow he's able to get up. Oh, answered by a big body shot. Nice kicks. What an exchange here. Oh, they're just throwing. Oh, they're exchanging here. One minute remains in the second round. He gets the clinch here. Nice double leg. Pushing his opponent away. Push kick. Again teeing off. These are big strikes. Nice body kick. And another takedown. And that is the end of round two. I like how they took that fight everywhere in that round, Mike. Absolutely. Some well-rounded skills shown by each fighter. We have no idea what to expect here in the last round, but I'm looking forward to it. Don't vary from the game plan. Are you paying attention to me? Don't vary from the game plan. Right? Throwing that... Finish every combination with a kick. You listen to me? Finish every combination with a kick. Keep the right kick going. Control range. Finish with a takedown at the very end. All right, let's go to the replay, Mike. Some beautiful counter fighting on display. Here we see a slip straight into a vicious counter strike. And here's that devastating counter strike. That is world class striking right there. A lot of versatility being shown in that round, Mike. Don't crowd him. Relax. Don't go for the big hook. Use the right hand. There's Shandella getting set for round three. Here we go, guys. Are you ready? Are you ready? Here we go. Round three. Let's go. Come on. We got five minutes. We're done. Again, he takes him down. Side control. Nicely done. Nice right hand. Into his guard. Back to side control. Oh! And Man. again! He loves throwing that punch. And again! He's in the full guard here. Now into side control. Man, those are knockout punches, Joe. Vicious punches from the top, Mike. He ate that one. Wow, that right hand. It looks like Congo is bleeding here too, Joe. And he's got he's side, side control. control. Half guard. He's in the guard. Under three minutes now. He's got over under here from the back. Flips him over into side control. Half guard. Moves into full mount here. Congo keeps getting tagged on that cut. He is bleeding bad, Mike. Able to posture. Oh, he got reversed. Under two minutes remains. Side control. Big right hand. Into half guard. Oh, reversal. Got into half guard. 90 seconds remains in the fight. Oh, he got reversed. Goes right into side control. Joe, let's see what he chooses to do here. Great reversal. Let's see what he does from here, Joe. And into side control. Big elbows and punches from the top. Posture's up. Side control. Pressure, pressure, elbow. There we go. 
He's got half guard. He's in guard here. Side control. That is the end of the third and final round. Joe, you know what? Decent fight. Not going to go into the UFC Hall of Fame of fights, but not bad. It definitely wasn't embarrassing. Let's take a look at some of the action from that round, Mike. Very nice takedown here. And here we're seeing some brutal ground and pound. This is the shot that caused the cut. And here we see that elbow strike land. You do not want to be on the receiving end of one of those. The judges have rendered their scorecards. Bruce Buffer has the decision. Ladies and gentlemen, after three rounds of action, we go to the judges' scorecards for a decision. The judges score it 29, 28, 29, 28, and 29, 28. Declaring the winner by unanimous decision, Brendan the Hybrid Shaw. Brendan Schaub reigns supreme.